Hey everyone, this is Some Nerdy Guy back again with another video. And today it's a little bit of a, I guess, an anniversary video, but not quite a year anniversary from when I started doing this. But it's the same, I think so. Pretty sure it's my first video. I haven't actually looked, but I remember one of the first videos I did was for uh, when quarantine was happening and stuff like that. They had a big sale. Uh, at games on bleh, 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 on GameStop's website that if you bought one game, 10% off up to five games, you get 50% off the whole order. And uh, I think for that one that happened last year, it was like every game, I think. Uh, but for this one in particular, it was only games $20 and under, which it might have been the same sale because if it were, <laughs> if it were, uh, like full price games, getting them half price, that would be insane. So I'm pretty sure it was the same uh, $20 was the highest uh, one you could go to price point wise. But um, yeah, I found a bunch of stuff uh, <laughs> here that uh, I got every game for like five bucks. Maybe I think some of them might have been 10 bucks, but like dirt cheap. So um, yeah. I was just kind of catching up on some of the 3DS stuff I still needed, some uh, two Xbox games that were, I got them for literally like $1.99 or something because they're so cheap physically, but I just wanted the physical copies, and you'll see what they are. Um, but yeah, I've also had a lot of other uh, games that I've gotten because holidays, there's been a ton of sales uh, at other retailers, but mostly what I've gotten is from GameStop because I think I mentioned in a previous video, I've been working there uh, for seasonal and I get whatever's on sale plus my employee discount, which marks it games down and other things down like super, super cheap. And I've gotten a couple retro things. One of them hasn't come yet, so I'm going to be waiting on uh, that pickup video. But I just kind of wanted to do this because I thought it was kind of like an homage to one of the first videos I did. And I thought it'd be kind of cool. So this is just going to be its own separate thing. And without further ado, let's get into the Xbox or the GameStop games. Uh, so I got my handy dandy box coder and this one is already going to be really disappointing because when I was looking at the tracking this is supposed to be 3DS stuff and I only feel one case there's supposed to be three games in here and I can only feel one case so we get to play my favorite game which gonna have a case and what's not it's my favorite I it's like I do it to myself because I know most of these games are like, I don't know what games are going to have their cases or not, but, like, when you get them that cheap, it's, like, got to have, got to take a chance at least. <laughs> but I'm hoping the one that I really want is going to have its case, and I'm about to be pulling it out now. Okay, it's not the one I wanted to have its case, but that's all right. Uh, Mario Tennis for 3DS, Mario Tennis Open. Uh, this is the only Mario Tennis game I don't have. Uh... It was one of the 3DS games I don't have, and I got it for $5, so I'm not really complaining. I know it's probably not the greatest Mario Tennis game. Can't be any worse than uh, the Wii U one. I can't remember what the tagline for that, or the subtitle for that one is. But yeah, Mario Tennis on the Wii U was garbage, <laughs> and uh, this is probably up there with it, most likely. And the other two games that were with it, this is the one I was really hoping was going to have its case. Uh, that's Pokemon Rumble Blast because I believe this game is starting to get pretty hard to find. Um, not like extremely rare, but I saw a listing for like 30 bucks with the case. So um, so there's that. And Pokemon Rumble is just like super just weird. It's like one of those offshoot Pokemon games not a lot of people talk about, but I bet you like a year or two from now, people are like, oh, Pokemon games that you didn't know about. And then <laughs> Pokemon Rumble Blast, and then everybody's gonna go crazy for it. Um, and then uh, Kingdom Hearts, uh, Dream Drop Distance, that's what it is. I, I couldn't remember which one it was, but yeah, it was kind of a glare because of the clear plastic, but there is that. And that's the first package. Um, I'm, a, I'm happy at least one of them had its case because a lot of the time with the 3DS games, none of them will have the case, literally none of them. So at least one of them had it. And hopefully I could find the cases by themselves relatively cheap because uh, there's still a lot of 3DS stuff that's cheap right now. Uh, some of it's getting really expensive, but mo the majority of it's still pretty cheap. So um, I will try to hunt those down. And then the next one, the not so, not the biggest, but the next biggest one. Okay. Yeah, it's weird. 
I think I've mentioned it before. I, I, I always forget what I've mentioned in certain videos and what I haven't. Um, but, like, how GameStop does it, they, like, send you everything separate. I, I'm assuming it's from, like, other stores that have the inventory, so they pack it up and send it, so you get it. It was one order that I ordered. It was, like, everything was all together, but when I actually got it sent to me, it was all in different packages. That's why I was going to do this video earlier, but couldn't because I had to wait for all the packages to get here. But, um, yeah. So, this is a three game. Oh, sweet. It has its case. That's another thing with the Switch games. A lot of the Switch games don't have cases because the games are so tiny and people, for some reason, just throw away the cases for that because they just don't care and don't really understand. But I got this one for only 10 bucks because it was 30 for the Switch version and 15 for the PS4 version. But I guess the pre-owned version of it was on sale for $19.99, so I got it for 10 bucks. And uh, I believe this is still a $30 game everywhere else that I've looked. And that is Moonlighter. Super cool game. Uh, it's like a dungeon crawl exploration, kind of kind of like Terraria, Minecraft-ish. But there's like actual dungeons and missions and things like that. Um, yeah, I always thought this was a really cool game. And I have never found a copy in person. Well, I did like a long time ago, but um, never bought it. And I haven't seen it since, so it was kind of cool that it was on the website still available. And you get this little cool uh, booklet with it, which is awesome. Didn't think it was going to have everything that goes with it, so that's a nice surprise. And then the other two are PS4 games. Um, the first one is uh, Zero Time Dilemma. And this is part of the, um, what you call it? What's the series called? Zero Escape. Yeah, the Zero Escape series. Uh, I have the first two games because there's nine door, nine hours, nine doors, nine persons, and then there's uh, one on the 3DS. I want to say, um, and then there's this, <laughs> and I'm blanking on the name. Oh, so the disc kind of came out of here, but it's in good shape, so that's fine. And um, has also a booklet with this one too, so that's really cool. Um, hopefully, they do switch versions of these because I think that'd be kind of cool. Uh, I kind of figure they will at some point, especially with how popular this is getting. And like Danganronpa and games in that nature, they're like all getting super popular. So I can see them putting them on Switch. And then this game, I've heard mixed things about, but I got it for $5, 5 or $6, I think. Yeah, because it was $12.99, so I got it for like 6 bucks. And that is Daymare. Uh, is it 1998? Yeah, 1998. Uh, it's supposed to be like Resident Evil, Pro obviously not as good as Resident Evil, but it's like a homage kind of to Resident Evil. And I don't know, I I try to I wanted to go blind into this one. Uh, I've looked at some stuff because I know some people said they really hated it. Some people said it was decent. Um, so I'm just gonna make my own opinion of it. <laughs> so got that. It was super cheap, so can't complain on that one as I smack it around. <laughs> and all right next box is this box this one is not as heavy as this one so we're doing this one first and there's a lot of a lot of what sounds like not cases in there <laughs> uh so we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens i'm gonna open it from the bottom so i don't have to cut up the shipping label and stuff all right more games Oh yeah, and this is a new shirt that I got. I didn't, uh, it's my Demon Slayer shirt. It has all the main characters on there. I haven't worn this yet, so I'm super excited for it. <laughs> okay, so most of these do have their cases. Um, all except for the two 3DS ones that are in here. Damn it! People need to keep their freaking 3DS cases, damn it. Alright, <laughs> uh, I guess I'll show them first. Uh, we got Mario Party Island Tour. This was just the other one that I didn't have because I already have Star Rush, so I got this one. Uh, it sucks because like I got these games for super cheap, but now I'm probably going to be paying what they're worth like retail because I'll have to buy the case separately. So the cost of getting these plus the case is going to be what I would have paid, I guess, just to get them. But oh well. And then the other one is uh, Donkey Kong Country 3D. Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. My bad. Uh, I already have it on the Wii. But 
I don't know, it's the other version of it that's on the 3DS. I didn't have it, so got it for a couple bucks. Why not? All right, and then uh, this one I solely got, well, I, I can't tell if it's in the camera, so I went like this and you can already see what it is. <laughs> uh, it's called Xenon, Xenon Racer for PS4. I have been trying to find different like arcadey type racing games to play that aren't like like i said arcadey so like not gran turismo not forza i know forza horizon's different from the actual forza games but like just something more arcadey more like cruise and blast more like your mario kart or your uh gotham racing project gotham racing kind of stuff i don't know wipe out more arcadey stuff so this looks pretty perfect um it was only five bucks, so can't complain on that. And then uh, these two both kind of go together. Uh, the first game wasn't on the Switch, and the second one was, so I got the second one for the Switch. First one was on PS4 and Xbox, but I ended up getting the PS4 version, and that is Override Mech City Brawl. So here's the first one, and here's the second one on Switch. Fighting mechs. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's so cool. I love this kind of stuff. Even though it might not be the greatest game, uh, I'm sure with it uh, only being 15 bucks, it probably was not great. But um, still, I mean, come on. it's so cool. The little robots fighting each other in the city. It's like Godzilla or like Ultraman because they put Ultraman in the second one. So that's really, really cool. And I like that. And there's like different uh, kaiju monsters that he fights that you could probably play. At. Either you play as them or you fight them. Okay, one of them you can't play as. Okay, that's really cool. But yeah, hopefully the, okay, it is a code. Hopefully the code wasn't used yet. Oh, that sucks. I didn't think about that. Uh, but the game itself, I got it. It's only a couple bucks. Like I said, all these were super cheap. So I'm happy to have both of these games. Because I remember when this first came out, I really wanted to get it when it came out. But it was still like $40. And I was like, this is a game that will go down in price. I'm just going to wait. And it went to like 30 And then it went to 20 And now it was 15 Got it half off, got it for seven bucks. Same with this. I think this one was 10 though. I think this was like 20 used and I got it for 10. So yeah. And then last but not least for this box, we got the grossest looking game of the year, but the best game of the year, Knack 2, baby. <laughs> for those of you who watch uh, Video Game Donkey, Knack 2, baby, got it. <laughs> I didn't have Knack 2, I thought I did. I only had the first Knack game, so Knack 2, baby. Got it. Uh, but it is gross. Look at that. How? Why? Why do you think that is acceptable to sell to anybody at all? Didn't even attempt to clean it. Just left this poop stain on the, the freaking case. I don't even know what that is. Like, that's what it looks like. It just looks like a poop. Just on the case. Uh... Max, if you're watching, man, like, he would be infuriated by this. <laughs> like, this is unacceptable. That's crazy that they let people send that out. That's uh, that's gross. Hopefully, I can get uh, a different empty case because I'm not cleaning this. That's gross. I don't want to touch that. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it for that box. And then last but not least, we got the big box. Well, not the big box, but the box that has the most games in it. And again, I'm going to open this one from the bottom so I don't screw up the shipping label. Or just that side of the box, because some I'll probably reuse some of these boxes. Alright. What's we got in here? Oh no! Half of these don't have their cases. No. One of them, they literally... Okay. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it was a 3DS game. Never mind. Okay. This is so disappointing. Ah, I'm mad now. <laughs> I'm all pissed off. Half of these don't have their cases. Damn it. Okay. Well, the first one I saw was this. It was literally just the CD slip, and I was like... They literally just put the disc in a sleeve, and that's it. But no, it was a 3DS game. Uh, it was Monster Hunter Generations, which I already have Generations Ultimate on the Switch. But it was a game for the 3DS I didn't have yet. But of course, it doesn't have a case, because that's how it goes. Um, 
I guess I'll just start with the ones that don't have cases. Oh, you gotta be freaking okay. This game is not only on Game Pass, so nobody probably even bought the, the freaking game physically. You could buy it brand new for five dollars, which I should have just done that, but I was in my mind, I was like, I'll get it for even cheaper. I got it for like two ninety nine or whatever it was. Why would you not keep Gears Five? I only bought this, like I said, it's on Game Pass. The only reason I bought this was so I could have the physical copy because I already have the first three and Judgment and the remake for Xbox One, but I didn't have four and five. Why does it not have the case? <laughs> like, why? Why do you not keep, unless if it was one of those things that the person was, th was wanting a physical copy, but they didn't need the game, so they traded it in just the disc and then kept the case for their shelf. That's like the only thing I can comprehend from that. Cause like, why the frick do you not keep your case? Why? <laughs> Nobody even bought this game. It should have been like a brand new game, but they had to open it cause they had so many copies and sell it as pre-owned. Like, I know they sometimes do that if there's an overabundance of one game. Cause nobody bought this game. I'm, I'm dead serious. Like maybe they did, but majority of people did not buy this game. It was our, on Game Pass day one. So that's, bullshit i'm pissed <laughs> i am pissed that's stupid um next one ah oh, this one i wanted to have the case too uh everybody's golf it's made by the same developers that did hot shots golf i'm pretty sure so it's like not an actual golf game it's like a party like mario golf type game it's like arcadey it's cool it's got little anime characters in it it's it's a decent looking game even though i don't like golf but i like mario golf it's i don't don't question me <laughs> but it doesn't kind of the case it looks like it came from a video rental store that's why because it's got this security sticker on it that pisses me off so bad damn it and then what's the other one? Oh, this one too uh okay i didn't hear all that great things about it but it's a square enix game it was only five dollars and that is uh left alive though from what the cover looked like though it looked like metal gear solid i literally know nothing about this game i solely went on the fact that it was cheap and i needed another game to get the five for 50 percent off so i was just like scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and i was like oh that's not a sports game i'll do that <laughs> it's the, basically what that was um otherwise i probably wouldn't have got this because i didn't hear very good things about it but for only $5, I'm willing to give it a chance, but it doesn't have the freaking case. Pisses me off. Okay. What, what else is what else is in here that doesn't... Okay. Everything else in here has its case. Okay? That's good. At least we can say that. All right. So, first game, since I gave it away with the other one. Gears 4. Cool. Has its case. I got the Gears of War 4 Special Edition Xbox. So, it came with a digital version of the game. And like I said, I always like having physical copies. I have every other Gears game, so wanted to have it. So there's that. Got it for a couple bucks. And then the only Switch game that's in here, I'm not even a big, the biggest fan of this series. I just wanted it because it was cheap, and I like these types of games, so maybe it'll get me into it and help me learn how to play it. And that is uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy. Yeah, Legacy of the Duelist. Um... It doesn't come with the exclusive cards because it's used. So I'm sure the person who had this bought it, got the cards, sold them on eBay, and then traded the game in is what I would assume. But even, the cards might not even be worth anything. But I have the game. That's all that matters. Got it for 10 bucks instead of 20 So happy with that. And then, yeah, this. so these two games kind of go together. I'll show them one after the other. We got Gundam Versus. Uh, this... All the Gundam games pretty much play the same. It's like an arena fighter, kind of like the Dragon Ball games or the Naruto games. I mean, it's Bandai Namco, so you kind of know what you're getting into with this. But I think Gundams are really cool. I haven't watched a lot of the animes. The an How do you say anime plural? Is it just still anime or is it animes? I think it's just anime. But anyways, <laughs> um, I don't know. I've always thought Gundam was cool. I remember uh, my neighbor growing up had some of the toys, but I've never really seen a lot of the anime until 
recent years. I'm trying to get into it more, so I don't look as much of a poser. <laughs> but uh, all I really remember from Gundam are the video games and the figures, because the figures were always really cool, like the model kits and things like that. And that brings to the next one, New Gundam Breaker. I don't know, this one looks really colorful and cool. Uh, but, you know, same deal. Uh, arena, fighting, uh, just blast. It's like super arcadey, fun. Just looks really cool. Got both of those for five bucks, I believe. I know this one for sure was five bucks because it was nine ninety nine. That one might have been fifteen. Or, I can't remember, but got them dirt cheap. And then this game, uh, I really wanted for the Switch. Switch version was not available, but this one was only five dollars. So I was like, I'll take a chance on it, and if I really, really like it, then I'll try to track down the Switch version. That is Rhyme, or Reem. Reem? Rhyme? However you want to pronounce it. But it's like a really artsy-fartsy uh, 3D puzzle platformer. Can you see a little fox there? He's petting the fox. It's kind of cool. <laughs> I like foxes. A little cute. But, yeah. Looks right up my alley. Looks Kind of reminds me of... Uh, um, not gameplay-wise, but kind of reminds me of Spirit of the North. Like, just a tiny bit. I guess because it has a fox in it. But... Um, I don't know, there's like a bunch of these different 3D platformers that kind of have this a similar art style, but they're really cool, so I'm willing to give it a shot. And then last but not least, what I was talking about before, I was trying to find some arcade uh, racing type games uh, that weren't like super realistic, and I didn't really know that they made this. I had no idea this came out, but uh, I, I really like this series. I remember playing it in arcades as a kid, and um, they were always super fun. And that is Wipeout Omega Collection. And at first, I wasn't going to buy this because I was like, oh, it's a VR game. I don't have P PlayStation VR. But it just has a uh, VR mode included. So the full game isn't VR. It just has a VR mode. And uh, I believe there's there's two games in here. I'm trying to read to see which ones they are. But it does not say which ones there are. Oh, Wipeout Fury and Wipeout 2048. So not the original Wipeout games, which are the ones I remember, but I'm sure they're still really cool. They're not in the water. It looks like they're just like futuristic, more like F-Zero. So I'm okay with that. I like F-Zero. I like fast paced racing games. So yeah, I'm really uh, excited to get a bunch of really cheap titles and be able to try out some new stuff. And uh, now I get to track down a bunch of empty cases <laughs> and stuff. So That'll be a good time. But yeah, I got a fat stack. And I mean a fat stack of games for really, really cheap comparatively. Uh, I got, let's see, how many games did I end up ordering? I think when I when all was said and done, it was like 20. <laughs> 20 something. I'm going to count them real quick. Let's see. We got one on, the, one on the table here. Well, the rest of these are on the table. So we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22 games. You just watch me there for 30 seconds with my head down like this. That's very interesting content <laughs> for people. Uh, but yeah, I got all these games and I'm going to try probably like two of them at least. Now, <laughs> now, I plan on trying most of them. I bet the 3DS ones are probably going to be on the back burner because uh, 3DS is something that like I just randomly get urges to play, but I'm not always like playing it all the time but um, I do get urges to play it now and then that in the original DS so they will definitely get you get played I especially once I get the cases for them I'm going to try to track those down first because I feel like 3DS games are going to get astronomically hard to get in like the next year or two the consoles are already starting to get hard to get so um, but yeah I'm rambling this video has gone on long enough so if you like the video like comment subscribe all that good stuff Hopefully you guys found some good deals too with this sale and the other sales they have going on at all these retailers. It is a great time to be a video game collector because you can get stuff really cheap right now. So hopefully everybody else is doing that. If you want to, comment below what you've been finding, if you have been finding anything cool. Um, I always like seeing what other people find and maybe you'll make me want to find it if it's something that I didn't get that I'm interested in too. I just think it's cool to just pass back and forth your interests and you know, collecting and stuff like that. It's all fun. So until the next one, see ya.